Today, we are looking at the Wallensat Stereo 10 3D camera. So what I have here in front of me is a Wallensack Stereo 10 3, 3D camera. I'm not going to open this one up. Um, I have some film loaded in here currently, some P30. Um, but you'll notice that uh, this camera is very, very similar to another camera that was made at the time. Um, before this one was made, uh, the company was making this other camera called the Revere. Um, basically the same build, but this Revere had a uh, cheaper lens or slower lens um, and but everything else is basically the same. The back it says Stereo 33 um, and essentially everything, everything else is the same except for the lens. Uh, the lens on this uh, wall sack is a uh, on this side is a f2.7 you can see right there as opposed to the Revere, which is a 3.5 here. A uh, little bit slower lens, but takes just as uh, good of pictures as this one over here. Um, our focus today will be on this camera. And I have some um, previously made video, and we'll talk more about this camera in detail. Um, not too much detail, but just a little bit of what I have I've uh, seen as far as the results from this camera. Very nice camera. Um, seems to be some sort of a stainless steel or aluminum um, camera build. And so... Alright, today uh, I'm going to try this uh, old expired chrome film by Agfa. Um, I think this one expired like back, it says here 1090, so that's 1990. And uh, we're going to load this into my stereo camera today and then uh, see what the results I get from this old expired film, uh, slide film to be exact. So let's take it out. And then on this camera, I believe. Open the whole back here. Take this out. Put this down. It says turn the winding knob until it stops. Um, okay, it stopped. And then uh, the neural take up spool until the slot is up. So take this right here like that. Pull that up. Just gonna slot this in here first. Pull this down. Now I'm doing this uh, voice over because I'm having some a lot of glitches with the computer today. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you looking for a 3D camera, I can uh, highly suggest that you look for a Wallensack um, with the 2.7 lens instead of the regular uh, Revere, which has the uh, three point. So. Um, that lens on this one, I think you'll like it better for low light capabilities as opposed to the Revere Mod Stereo 33. Um, and again, this one was run, was made towards the end of the uh, Revere 33 model, the Stereo 33 model, um, as a commemorative. So this is a special, the Wollensack. If you are able to find this uh, online or from a retailer or some a dealer, I highly suggest this camera. And as you look at... Uh, this camera, uh, I would prefer this camera over the, all the others that I've seen as far as 3D and cameras. this is the Wallensack Stereo 10. Um, 
we'll see what the images I get from this thing and uh, I'll be sure to post it or put some links on there. So this is the film that uh, expired film that I shot with my wall and sack. It's the Agfa Chrome CT1. Alright so as you can see uh, with expired film it'll always have that muted and uh, pastel like look and the contrast is not very punchy. Uh, saturation is not punchy. So this is the result of this old Agfa XL CT100 compared to a new stock film that you would shoot. Okay, sorry for the uh, technical glitches today. Uh, microphones don't work, and also I am experiencing some other technicalities as far as scanners not working. The software is outdated by Epson, and I can't get this my flatbed to work. So I just included one picture here for you to look at, see if you can see the 3D. All right, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and put them down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Meanwhile, take care. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.